Tyler, welcoming you to today's match. Alan Smith's going to sit alongside me and give his expert comments from this game from the French First Division. Yeah, pleasure to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. It's Monaco playing, and they play Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the investment, the money from Qatar into Paris Saint-Germain, Alan, has made a huge difference. Well, it's almost like a different football club now, isn't it? With that money behind them, the ability to attract top, top players. Renier Vanier is the referee today. So the first half about to begin. Falcao. Played back. defending there moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here to put them in front might have even touched the bar on the way over Falcao into the attacking third and the cross coming in tries to punch it away slide rule pass there he's one possession Matuidi Angel Di Maria Edison Cavani trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation Falcao makes a challenge here. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball. That good forward play from them. Got the ball back. Matuidi. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Well, offside, and uh, it's not going to change the course of the game. No, those defenders would be pretty happy if those forwards continue to be quite as boundless as that.
promising build-up until that challenge. Jean Moutinho. It goes out wide again. Well, it's a poor cross, not well hit at all. Dealt with by the defending side. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Jean Moutinho. On the attack here. Well, this should be a very good matchup. The team from the capital and the team from the principality, Monaco. Well, Monaco, as we know, have had huge financial backing, had some problems in the last year or so, had to sell players, but they should give PSG a run for the money here. Angel Di Maria. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Here's a chance to attack. Sidibe. Click. And the ball played to Mendy. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And the players face another two minutes added on by the referee. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time. The lack of noise, really, at half-time tells you how disappointed the supporters are with that first half, but they, like us, will be hoping for better in the second period. Yeah, they uh, didn't make much noise, and when the players walked off, one or two fans by the tunnel, I noticed, giving some of the lads some stick, but they'll be hoping for better. It can only get better, Alan. <laughs> can only get better. I've forgotten that first half already. Let's hope for something slightly more inventive after the break. Got the tackle in. There's some potential in this move. And that will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Javier Pastore. Live at Kuzawa. Baratti. Aurier. He's coming forward with some danger. Oh, his teammates will thank him for that. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. And the cross is in. He's pressed him there to running the ball out of play. Going to get a change for Monaco. Paris Saint-Germain given the throw. And it's going to be a substitution now for 
this team. Angel Di Maria. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Ben Arfa. Attacking well here. Turnover there that we didn't expect. Monaco thinking about a change and they're going to do it actually. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Mendy. Well, they're in a good position here. Falcao! And there it is, the goal, and it's put them into the lead. And the goal looks spectacular and is very important. Yeah, there was some power behind that effort. I think the crossbar's still shaking. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Well, that was the opening goal. We've had to wait to the second half to get it, but it's come now. Verratti. Ben Arfa. Substitution around the corner, I think, for Monaco. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Monaco not making the running anymore. In fact, they're not really crossing the halfway line. What do you make of it, Alan? Well, it could be construed as a negative move, this, by the manager. I wonder if he'll live to regret it, just getting everybody behind the ball. Tackle here, on to the attack now. Gian Moutinho. Excellent passing, great interplay. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Oh, they gave it straight to him, didn't they? And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Cavani. And then he went, just diverted it away. Ten minutes left of regular time. Thiago Silva. Ben Arfa. Javier Pastore. Ferrati. Angel Di Maria. Live Kurzawa. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. Good defending. Falcao. Well, we've had some chances. Alan, but it's a while since we've had a goal. They've still got the lead. Yeah, and they're knocking the ball about with a fair bit of confidence, and uh, they look pretty secure with this lead at the moment. That could soon change, though, of course. It's a quick break. Promising build-up until that challenge. And that's the end of the match at 1-0. Well, there we are, Alan, we can pick over the bones as much as we like, but the fact is, it's a defeat. Yeah, and a defeat is a defeat, and they always hurt, and uh, there's always something for the manager to look at and try and improve upon, and there was plenty there. Well, he did play a part, Falcao, perhaps not quite as strong a part as he would have wanted. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance.
Well, they're in a good position here. Oh, cow! And there it is, the goal, and it's put them into the lead.